Well, tonight the world is waiting to see just how far Putin's 190,000 troops will go into the country of Ukraine. Will he stop with the two breakaway regions or order his soldiers to the capital for a full-scale invasion? CBS's Charlie Daggett is in Kyiv tonight. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, Nora. We're learning tonight that the Russian government has ordered the evacuation of all embassy staff here in Kyiv as soon as possible, and yet another worrying indication of what may be a wider war on the way. In a national address tonight, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky issued a decree calling up military reservists to face off against the threat from Russia. President Putin may not have declared his intention to invade Ukraine, but he's dropping plenty of hints and demands, repeating tonight that the best resolution to the crisis is for Ukraine to drop its aims to join NATO and international recognition that Crimea is part of Russia. Ukrainians agree that the Russian invasion is already underway. With the Russian parliament giving Putin the green light to use military force outside the country, the fighting in the east could trigger a full-scale invasion. The mood in the capital is more subdued than normal tonight. All the people around me, they're worried. They're like, oh my God, we're going to die or something, but I'm okay. Tonight, Ukrainians are staring down the barrel of a gun, and the only hope they have is that new sanctions will stop Vladimir Putin from pulling the trigger, a strategy that has not worked so far. Nora. Charlie Daggett, well said. Thank you.